it from Abby Thompson in front of her. So a 9.825 and a 9.8 already is the Maltier's vault. Abby Pearson with another year tango. Full, huge height and distance on that vault. Small hop back. Overall, I think their landings are more controlled. That's not a, bad, uh, not a bad resume to bring in. Not at all. Her gymnastics is so impressive. Had a 39.7 last week. That's the third highest all around in the nation this year. And coming off of entry last year, no less. Very impressive. Trust the dismount left. Another big double layout. Small hop back with the rest of that routine. It was beautiful. Should a Maloney right back down to the low bar with a pack and then another. Should definitely be a career high for her. There's been three certainties in life. Def Taft is an Esperanza bar from leading off <laughs> the bars for West Virginia. Yes, she is the staple leader on this event. Huge blindfold into a Ginger. Shoot over handstand to the low bar. Back up to the high bar. She's amazing at hitting those handstands, getting those toes together. Same on that blind, full. Stuck the back dismount. I swear her routines are perfect and identical every single week. Esperanza Barca, another gym that's, that's built scores yes, in this rotation for the Mount Singers. Kendra with a Maloney. Right back down to the low bar with a pack. Pirouette. Back up to the high bar. She also does a blindfold double back dismount, just like Esperanza. Great handstand. Clean blindfold. And a stuck double back dismount. Once again, nailing these dismounts today. Take another look at the double back. So we asked for, for the beam for the second time in her career, but the first time on beams. Yep, beam debut for this freshman. Finished fourth on the beam at the 2019 Region 7 Championships. She does the same series as Keanu Yancey, so the backhand spring, layout, step out, layout, step out. Awesome job, she nailed it. That is a huge confidence boost for this freshman. You can see in the back just how engaged her teammates are with this routine right now. It's amazing seeing a freshman go up there for the first time on beam, which is probably the most nerve-wracking event, and nail a series like that. Switch leap, straddle half, very difficult. Just a dismount left for Chloe. Round off one and a half, a stuck that landing. Great debut for the freshman. The team is so excited for her. We're gonna take another look at that series. Second knee in a row, the Mountaineers have had a season debut on beam go very well. <laughs> Following up on Keanu Yancey. Just Sunday. showing that their depth really can pull through and deliver. Lindsey Brown's won the vault. She's won the bars. <laughs> we'll see if she can win the floor. Very powerful on this event. Should definitely be fun to watch. She starts with a huge double layout. They round off by handspring, double layout. Makes it look easy, controlled lunge. Switch half, wolf full. This is a fun routine for Lindsay. Second pass. Round off one and a half. Right into a split jump, beautiful. One pass left for Lindsay, she doesn't even look the slightest bit tired. <laughs> the 
finishing with a round off by handspring, a double pike, nails it. The 2019 national <laughs> champion, and you can see why. Yes, you can. We're gonna take one more look at that second pass. Vasquez on Bean. She has so much experience on this event. She was the 2020 Big 12 Event Specialist of the Year, the entire year. She has scored a 10, and she was also an All-American in 2019 and 2020 on beam. Yeah, scored a 10 twice <laughs> on beam. <laughs> Not just once. Backhand swing, a layout step out, very clean. Had a 9.975 this year as well against Air Force. Shows she's very consistent. Switch half, split jump. Once again, that switch half is extremely difficult. Very impressive full turn. That's unique. You don't really ever see those in college gymnastics, especially when the requirement is just a plain old full turn. Beautiful leap. Side aerial, layout full dismount, stuck the landing. Great routine. Great way to end off the beam rotation for Denver. We're going to take one more look at that dismount. Oh, Very good. Yeah. Very good, Pearson. consistent, and confident. A lot of those skills, it seems like they're just on the floor doing them. You wouldn't even know they're on the beam. Abby Pearson in the final spot for West Virginia. Tons of power from this gymnast right here. Also a super fun routine. First pass, round up by handspring. Double layout, she brought out the double layout. Can tell she's excited about that. Second pass is her combo pass and front pass, front layout, front full, once again another controlled landing. This is when she can have some fun with this dance. up with Esperanzo Barca <laughs> on, the vault, on the vault mat. Yep, the team loves this choreography, you can tell. It's fun for everyone. Getting ready for her leap pass. Switch half, full full. Right into a shoot over down to the ground. One pass to go for Abby. Finishing with a roundup back handspring, double tuck. Great landing. This is going to be a huge score for Abby. Awesome floor rotation for the Mountaineers. We're going to take one more look at that last pass. Once again, ending with a double back as a three.